How's it going, YouTubers? Uh, if you have a newer Windows 10 computer and you'd like to make adjustments to the BIOS and tweak on things to see if you can squeeze more performance out of it and that sort of thing, but you are noticing at random the machine is freezing up and crashing on you, this unfortunate blue screen pops up you know if it is frozen up on you and it'll often say machine check exception down at the bottom here if you see this fairly frequently and um, you would like to re repair it it's not that difficult <clears throat> so let me show you a couple things you can do uh, first thing you'll you'll have to update and reinstall the display driver and you get to that through your device manager of course so up uh, you go to your start button where mine is a uh, I have a vertical start button because I have one of those new humongous 49 inch wide Samsung monitors and it's it's just too much to deal with to put the start and um, taskbar across the bottom as usual because it's just humongous anyway so I put mine vertically anyway you'll go to your start button wherever it's located on yours and right click with your mouse and then come down to device manager right here open that bad boy okay and look for display adapters which should be about right here it's in alphabetical order hit the down arrow and there's your display adapter for your machine. We can right click on that guy. And some people uninstall it and then let Windows reinstall it by itself. And that can work as well. So some like to just update the driver. But if you just hit uninstall device, let Windows remove it and then reinstall it automatically. So just answer any questions to it, you know, to reinstall it uninstall device because it's gonna you know it's gonna sound like you're doing something serious but it's not that big a deal just let Windows reinstall the device automatically you know with any selections that it offers you all right then if that doesn't solve the issue completely if you are guilty like me and you like to go into the BIOS of your computer and make tweaks and adjustments to see if you know you can make it go faster or work better or whatnot that can also cause problems. So let me show you how to get into that where some people are able to get into their BIOS just by hitting either the F2 key as the computer is booting up, you know, from a uh, you know, from a hard boot. Um, some people hit the escape key on their keyboard. So you may have to Google your specific machine on how to get to the BIOS with that method, but I honestly was struggling getting into the BIOS, even doing the correct keyboard pressing. So here's another way you can get into it. All right, same deal. We'll go up to the start button, wherever it's located on your machine. Looks like a little Windows icon. We'll go to right click on that. Then to settings right here. Open that guy up. You'll need to get to update and security right here then to recovery this is basically a Windows 10 option you click on that guy it's a Windows 10 option to help you fix your computer if it is really messing up on you and it's not virus related or something like that this is more going to be BIOS related or you know the Windows operating system has a serious problem this will give you different options. Okay, now I can't click this guy here because it'll turn the screen completely dark and I won't be able to continue the way I'm uh, displaying this to you. So what you'll do though, you'll hit restart and get to the advanced options, which will show you this basically here. Okay. Um, so we need to go to the advanced options and it'll show you advanced startup troubleshooting okay just you'll see something like this on your screen 
troubleshooting and advanced options. And then you'll eventually need to launch these firmware settings. This will get you to the BIOS of your computer. And um, you have to be very careful when doing it. But once you get into the BIOS through this area here, just um, reset all of the BIOS settings to default as if it came from the manufacturer. And you're going to have to start from there because if you've done a lot of tweaking to that area of your computer, that has possibly caused this problem that is making your computer freeze up, lock up, shut down, that sort of thing. Now, this happens to be for a Windows 10 machine. I have a Windows 10 Pro machine, and um, that's the only way I have found to eliminate the freezing up and blue screen error. And I've been working on them, the, the computer for two days after this, and I've not had a single freeze up since. So there you have it. Um, you can Google this, you know, as far as how to get into this area. Just be careful doing it. You know, don't do anything that doesn't look right. Uh, you know, don't start deleting things and all that. You know, but you can just reset your BIOS to default, and uh, as well as reinstalling the device driver for your. Uh, for the good old display adapter and that honestly should solve the problem uh, we had a brand new machine here you know it's a uh, power spec g434 and it has a very fast processor and it's a really good gaming machine that we're using for video processing that's the kind of performance we were looking for and um yeah i did some tweaking to the bios and you know, it turns out it caused more harm than good so anyway that, that should fix your problem. And uh, check out our other you know, videos. You know, we, we don't do a lot of computer videos here. We do have a few, but we mostly are into motorsports and cars and trucks and fixing things with a motor as well as you know, we're big fans of motorsport activities. And so if you look through our channel, you will find all kinds of pretty cool videos. Even We even do VHS transfers you know, from VHS tape over to digital. Um, but, yeah, our channel is more for entertainment purposes as well as some self-help and do-it-yourself kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, you may, be, you may be surprised at what you find on the Horsepower House channel. All kinds of neat stuff that may be a little different from other channels. Uh, cars, trucks, motorcycles, ATVs, dirt bikes, lawnmowers, you know, how to fix those vehicles. Ford, we got some Ford cars, some Chevy trucks, some Buick Skylark scuff, uh, Harley Davidson stuff, Yamaha motorcycle stuff, just just stuff, man. You'll be you'll be blown away with all you find. We got over fourteen hundred videos, so check it out. Like, subscribe, follow, comment if you've had another way you could resolve your uh, blue screen Windows ten issue, and um, that should do it. Biker Dave here, Horsepower House, Atlanta, Georgia, in the house, and y'all have a great afternoon. See y'all.